this ordeal, it may be that we brought it upon ourselves. Hold on, they squabbling. Before everything changed, March 31st, 2010, 1.30 p.m. Hello? Hey, Yukari-chan? It's me. Um, are you coming today? Oh, um, didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I already left my stuff at the dorm, so there's no need for me to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? It looks so dang long. I'm gonna have to edit the dang what you call it when I get out of this. <sighs> Yukari chan's not coming after all. Sonata san said he'd be training at the gym, so I don't think he's coming either. Man, what is up with those two? This is the last day we have before the dorm closes down. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they want to see it off together, you know? It is what it is. Everyone deals with things in their own way. It's up to each of us to choose our own path from here. We can't deny them that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, I can hardly blame them. Things have only been getting busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I may not have made it here myself. Guess it's finally time to say goodbye to our evokers. Kinda bums me out, but it's not like we got a use for them anymore. Let's see, two, four... We got a use for them, you gotta find out. They're supposed to be. This is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? That's right. You had his for safekeeping. <laughs> hey, come on. Let's not get all down in the dumps about it. I don't think he would have wanted to see us like this. Sorry, you're right. We've already said our goodbyes. It's just, I can't help wondering why. There didn't seem to be anything wrong with him. It just looked like he fell asleep, didn't it? He must have used up the rest of his power to protect us at the final battle. I don't think it's worth speculating on the reasons. The one thing I feel certain of that he wouldn't have blamed any of us for what happened. Yeah. I chan's got that right, you know? I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, I guess. It really seemed like you cared about him more than anything in the world. I'm somewhat surprised as well. It's 
It's possible I won't feel the full impact until I'm settled back in at the lab tomorrow. Huh? The lab? Are you planning on commuting from there next semester? Oh. No, I... I guess it's returning to the lab for good. She won't be enrolling as a third year. Well, seriously? Why? It's been fine this whole time, hasn't it? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoy being with you all. But it's time for me to find my own way of life. Oh, but don't worry. Mm -hmm. You can come visit me whenever you wish. I guess. Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten off track, but I didn't mean for this to be a sad occasion. Ain't gonna be sad. Top quality sushi for us all. Same as last time, actually. We may not have the full team with us, but let's have a nice dinner here tonight. Oh, that would be great. I mean, uh, Fuck! No here. Damn it! I did not mean to press that. I wanted to pause it. I actually had sushi for the first time on my birthday this year. Well, no, second time. The first time I had sushi, I almost died. Um, the second time I had sushi, I had raw salmon. I didn't like it. It was like it tasted good, but like man, that consistency in my mouth, like that texture made me want to throw up bro but the taste was good probably never eating that shit again though you'll join in too right i guess come on i guess of course i won't miss this chance to spend more time with you all oh one more thing i'm sorry i know i'm not really doing a lot of commentary and talking i'm just kind of letting them get their little exposition in once we get into the actual game and shit like y'all gonna y'all gonna see chatterbox bro because i fucking I, can, I never stop talking. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. In spite of this, surveys have shown that the public's everyday stress levels remain high. According to an investigation by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, Wow, when did it get so late? It's almost Ooh. midnight. It's hard to believe we passed the evening so quickly, even without doing anything in particular. I suppose it's because sitting here with you all brings me back to the time we spent together. I think I know what you mean. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself wanting to come back to it. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I can't help but reminisce on those days. And it's funny since, well, the things that happened back then weren't exactly pleasant. I get you on the past and all, but isn't there something still off about the present? I feel like everywhere I go, I see people goofing around like nothing else matters. Dumb fuck. It's like Strega's dumb ideas never got out of their heads, you know? Strega's some bitches. I mean, is that the kind of world we almost died to protect? <laughs> wow, you've really grown up, Junpei-san. I don't need to hear that from you. It's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We may have prevented the fall, but there's only so much we can do to prevent society. Fuck, I missed. Society. Yeah, I guess. But still. And that's all for the weather. At the tone, the time will be 12 a.m. What was that? Right at midnight. No way. Is it the dark hour again? I think I'm good. Hold on. Let me see. I'm gonna wait until the little appearance. Nah, everything's fine out there. Wait. The news. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here are the latest news reports. Huh? The 31st just ended, didn't it? Did the anchor misread the date? Now you tripping. Jeez, man. Is that all it was? 
I guess even the news people screw up every once in a while. <laughs> really had me going there for a second. Weird. My phone says it's the 31st, too. So, like, it's gotta be a false alarm, yeah? That's a sensible assumption to make for now. But something felt off. Uh, it's getting late. We should probably call it a night. I know, we wanted to say goodbye to the dorm with the bang, but not like this. Um, would it be all right if I returned to my room? I have preparations to make for the move tomorrow. Oh, of course. Good night, I guess. Night. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality. He was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression and began having the same dream night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. But now, that promise can never be fulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a mysterious fog had lifted. I stopped dreaming. And I now no longer require sleep. That does not sound very healthy. If you're a robot, you don't care about health. What? <sighs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Can I really continue living like this? Huh? A butterfly? Igis, are you awake? Uh, yes, the door is open. Igis, come quick! We need you! Has something happened? Are we under attack? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor suddenly opened up, and... Anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge. Understood. Come to think of it, that day I stopped dreaming, that must have been when all this actually began. What's going on? Oh shit. Are you okay? Hold we on, here she go! It is, it's not human. Her reveal finally is a lagging! That big ass weapon, whatever the fuck that is. Protect these nuts, nigga. Protect me. These people pose a threat to you. Therefore, I will eliminate them. Eliminate who? How the fuck? How out? How out of training are these niggas to get fucked like that? Like, come on, y'all just got done saving the damn world or assisting in saving the world, and y'all gonna let some robot fucking solo y'all? Lock the fuck in. I won't let you hurt them. Then I have no choice. I can't let you interfere. It's for your own good. 
Come get these milk nuts and bolts, bitch. Hold on. Come on. Is the fight? Hold on, the fight ain't lagging. Let's go. I can actually play the game. Stand aside. Fuck you. Who the fuck? Who the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. Let me make sure this shit ain't lagging. Who the fuck is this bitch talking to? Persona. Nigga, I'll rain arrows on your bitch ass. <laughs> Athena, get that bitch. If you back down, I won't hurt you. I fuck you up. Ow, oh, okay. Persona. Shit. How are you able to summon one too? What is optimal? Is it Swift one? strike that bitch. Ow. Oh. I'll return the favor. Get shot up. Hold on. She's actually kind of fucking me up right now. Hold on. She's kind of fucking me up. Heal up, babe. Heal up, Aegis. Hey, that's my move. I can do this. Something else. It is tough. No. Hold on. Utilize. Just heal. Just heal. You gonna keep doing assault dive. You a bitch. Alright. Fuck you! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get her out! Get her out! Get her out! Don't you dare miss! Woo! Finally. You're stronger than I thought. So it's come to this. Oh, she in orgy mode. Even this. I guess. Amada. Shut your ass up. must be eliminated. No! I won't let this happen again! That's crazy. What? How on earth? Damn! Why I don't got that? Why, why Makoto ain't have that move? You let Orpheus fuck you! <laughs> Awakening to a new power, Igis's persona Athena has metamorphoso for metamorphosed into Orpheus. Indeed. It's my goat. Are you human or merely humanoid? 
<laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Where... where am I? Who are you? Ah, forgive my manners. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is my assistant Elizabeth. We both reside here in the Velvet Room. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between mind and matter. It is a room for those who have forged a contract. Yes. In awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. Henceforth, you shall be our guest in the Velvet Room. Wild card? Surely you know that of which I speak. The ability to wield multiple personas and their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. Are you saying that you knew him? Indeed, I did. He achieved a marvelous thing, finding the answer to life. The answer to life? The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. If I were to find this answer, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer, and they find it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. <sighs> well then, I mustn't hold you here any longer. It would appear that an ordeal is about to unfold. On your return. That feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please take this. Velvet King. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then. Farewell. I once made a choice to live. So much has changed since then, myself included. If this new power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. Mm. Oh, you caught here. Oh. Hold on, I guess it's strapped the fuck up. Damn. Why she got all that shit on? I guess. I... <sighs> Glad to see you awake. You really scared us passing out like that. Yukari san. Mitsuru-senpai asked me to come just in case, and I get caught up in something like this? Come on, seriously? I'm sorry for worrying you. Hmm? What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. We found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. Still sucks, though, getting bossed around by her like that. That girl told us, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Hey, sounds like you've had a rough Oh, sh I didn't even notice him. Akihiko. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. She wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. 
Oh, that's why they got one. Why they gotta bust things up like that? It's my turn to clean the place today. How about you quit it with a silent treatment and say something? Mm. Huh? Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? Oh. Uh, I... You're looking pretty comfy there. Guess you don't think of us humans as much of a threat, huh? It's just, I was tired after going into Orgia mode, so... Ah. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. You don't need to restrain me. I won't attack anyone anymore. Why the sudden change of heart? You can't expect us to trust you without an explanation. Type shit. Well, it's... It's because I thought you wouldn't like me if I did. Huh? Let's release her. I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of attacking us any further. Besides, if she's really like me, then the restraints won't hold her anyway. She was a line. Seriously? And all those friggin' non-stop shifts went for nothing? First, tell us who you are and your purpose in being here. My name is Metis. As you can see, you and I are essentially sister units. In fact, you are the reason why I'm here. I've come to save you from this hopeless situation. A hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? Speaking of which, how long was I asleep? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Damn. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow and all the days after it will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it? The moment time looped, Loot? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Well, then, are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? <sighs> That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm either. That makes two ways we're trapped here. What? But how could that... Both space and time are being distorted by the abyss of time beneath us. The... abyss of time? It's difficult to explain. It'd be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please, follow me. Hey! Who made you the boss? Yeah. The sand shit. Is the abyss of time. It's uncharted territory that I believe spreads underground, much like the roots of a tree. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the abyss of time was just a small, self contained space. But then one day, it started growing rapidly and eventually spread to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place wasn't man made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, just like Tartarus was. Oh, sheesh. Haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff already? I'm not sure words alone can fully convey what's happening. But the flow of time here is abnormal. That's why time is looping. And why you can't leave the dorm. The only solution is to find a way to somehow eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? we supposed to do that I've already tried the simplest method that has the highest probability of success eliminating all of you the abyss of time is linked to this dorm as if drawn to it and for some reason you are the only ones who can perceive the time loop 
Clearly, there is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening. So that's why you attacked? To eliminate us? She said that. What the hell? We've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, it can only be found by entering the abyss of time. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Igis. Hold on. You're joking, right? Are you seriously telling us that we have to risk our lives again like we did with Tartarus? I would be flipping out, bro. Never Some mind bullshit. That. How are we supposed to just believe whatever you say and jump into that freaky place blind? Well, do you have a better plan? The basement of your dorm is an infinite abyss. Time is looping, and you can't reach the outside world. She has a fair point. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? We're stuck here long enough till we run out of food. Are we going to starve to death? You better, you better fix this shit fast then. You better get rid of that abyss of time. If the current situation continues, things could get worse. This is your only option if you want to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive, but you attacked us the minute you saw us. You must understand that we can't simply entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Igis, but what's in it for you? What's in it for me? I'm doing this because I care about her. I mean, she's all I have. About that, your story doesn't fit the facts. Bitch. Igis was the last of her series. No other units were produced after her. And on top of that, it bothers me that you talk like you've been in the abyss of time from the start. I thought this was supposed to be uncharted territory that was unconnected to the outside world until recently. W well Explain. Are you supposed to be an anti-shadow weapon anyway? Attacking us humans to save Igus doesn't make sense. Explain. That's I Explain yourself. Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. The answer. You better not be thinking you can get away with pulling a fast one on us again. Enough about me. What good is knowing any of this anyway? Besides, haven't I already told you that there's no time to waste? We literally, this is no time. There's no time at all. Now follow me. Or are you giving up so soon? Because if you are. You should have just let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? Fuck her up! I mean, shut her up! You may have no choice but to enter this place. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? Without me? <laughs> you couldn't possibly. You, you need me. I know the most about the abyss and as if what do you know about what we need bitch We all risk our lives for each other if you think so little of my friends then You can't come with us No Might suck, but if that's how you're gonna be then we'll just leave you here by yourself Mm-hmm. <laughs> bitch Myself? <laughs> oh, not happy with that? If you'd rather be our enemy, we can settle things right here. Oh, well, we don't have to go that far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. So please don't leave me. What a submissive little robot. Okay. I see. <laughs> Look, even if you change your tune now, it's not like we're going to start trusting you. Still, though, maybe it's true that all she really wants is to protect Igis-san. Well, Senpai, should we take her with us? Because if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. 
Yeah, honestly. Okay, everyone, listen up. It seems that once again, we must engage in both exploration and battle. I've been thinking it over, and Fuck, I man. believe Igis should take command. Blow my shit up. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as the leader, approve of it, then I have no objections to Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san. <laughs> if you want to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Whatever happens, you can't hurt my friends. Can you promise me that? Yes! I promise! Yes! This better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Bro, did not see the opening. Suru Senpai just mentioned it. What's up with you suddenly having his power? I honestly don't know. And when I thought we might lose someone else, I got scared. And suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask them? Damn. Damn. Not much we can do about that. Damn. If we're going to end up fighting again, we better make sure we're outfitted properly. Well, as far as the school records are concerned, you and I are technically still Gekokan students. Yamagishi, could I ask you to retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and as for the things we found when the floor opened up, I put them in the command room. So I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... I, I promise to listen to what you say. So, could I call you my sister? Aww. Go right ahead. Thank you, sister. The abyss of time. A strange and mysterious dimension that has suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Till we find the reason for its presence, we'll be unable to leave the door. We must begin looking into its depths at once. Time I get geared up, my brain gets oh boy. Into mindset like time to get her done. <laughs> you know? No, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just happy I get a match with my sister. I got all pouty the moment we changed clothes. Who would have thought she just wanted an armband? This doesn't make you one of us, though. Still. It's a good thing you've got one on. Carrie Hayden. <laughs> I can get a detailed read on your vitals. Orgia mode. When I'm, she can use Orgia mode. Activate it. She'll automatically attack during her turn. So it's the same thing for Igus. Okay. I had some extras prepared, but I didn't expect we would need them again. Well, is everyone ready to start exploring? Are we missing anything? I don't think so, but got a bad feeling about this. Junpei here might not, but what about the rest of you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't put my finger on it. Something does feel off. Agreed. Something's not sitting quite right. Huh? You gotta sit I'm left. the only one height? You a little stupid, Wait, man. Hold up. Have there been any changes to our readings? Um, well, I don't know how to put this, but they're indicating that everyone's strength has weakened significantly, which may prove to be an impediment. Well, yeah, ain't that, like, really bad for us? Is it because of that abyss of time thing? I don't seem to be affected. Are you sure it's not simply because you're all weak? Nigga, we killed that! We're weak, are we? Well, we didn't kill Dad, but we beat. We, we, we helped. So if it's not because of the abyss, does it have something to do with 
Y'all been out of practice. We did take a step back from fighting for a while, so that's probably the biggest factor. More importantly, your persona's output is currently unstable, so their abilities are partially limited right now. Maybe we just forgot how to fight? Does muscle memory even go away? Not that it really matters. All we can do right now is work with what we've got. Oh, yeah, well, easy for you to say. I guess you're nervous too, aren't you? I'm sure she's uneasy. Right? I don't know. It seems like it'll be pretty rough. You have nothing to worry about, sister. I'll be there for you. Sure. She's a sweetheart. She's scared of dogs. Well, now that we've the <laughs> situation at hand, I'd like to set expectations a bit before we head out. I should operate on my own to find out whether or not there's more to those materials we found underground. Flying solo, huh? I guess you are the only one who can identify that sort of thing, though. I'll regroup with everyone once I learn more. There's something else I want to look into as well. So it's more efficient for the team to progress without me there. Your objective is to see if the abyss of time connects to anywhere else besides the dorm. And since we don't know how much time this will take, it's imperative that we secure our supply routes. Oh, in that case, kind of seems like a job for Koromaru, don't it? Huh? I mean, he's sharper than a human. You know, with his sense of smell and all. <laughs> yeah? Your game, bud? I'm a little worried about us being weaker than usual, though. So, how about I come with you? <laughs> All right, I'll let the two of you handle that then. Iori, Koromaru, and I will go about our own tasks. Everyone else, follow Igus's command and focus on exploring. I'm counting on you, Igus. This is bumping, though. I hope to reunite with you all soon, or leave it to me. I don't know, leave it to me, nigga. I got this shit. That's what I like to hear. And you can count on me to bring back results too. Let's head out once you've decided on our course of action. We want to make progress, then we better get to it. <sighs> shit. I've been up since four o'clock, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Back in the game. For real. Oh, that's hard. That looks really good. Item. Yo, I just noticed this, right? I'm, I'm so stupid. Like, this is probably such an obvious thing. I'm just now noticing. But I guess has headphones the same way Makoto does. But they're probably built into her as like more of a, 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 a hairband. But she's got headphones. That's cool as fuck. Well, you know, they aren't like Makoto's. Like hers are over the head. His is like this. But she still got headphones. It may, I, I realized that because I'm looking at this and she's holding on to her headphones the same way Makoto does. Ooh, that's hard. We don't got none of our weapons. No, nothing, bro. Can I go to Makoto's room? Damn, it's just sealed off. This was his room. Something feels strange being here. And the door won't open. All right, so I'll just go down. Hi. Let's go. Okay, I'll let the others know. It looked like somebody we we know. And that thing went through this door, didn't it? What's going on? I'm not sure either. It all happened so quickly. <laughs> Your car is about sick at her. <laughs> Why not start our exploration here then? Not like we have much else to go on. It didn't hurt to pursue anything suspicious. All right, then I'll leave this to you. Be careful in there. Let's start off. I need over with quick. What do you say? Come with me. All right, got it. Who else? Junpei's going on his thing. So I'm going to take Akihiko. Yes. You won't regret this. Yep. All right, let's hit the velvet room. 
I'm not gonna grab none of my overpowered personas. Welcome. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I have been anticipating your arrival. Magnificent. The time has come for you to wield your power. My role is to create new personas. By merging multiple persona cards together, they can be reborn into a new form. One could call it a fusion of personas. <laughs> There's much hidden potential within your persona abilities. We're pleased to have another guest who shows as much promise. Oh, yes. If you wish to learn more about fusing personas in greater detail, then come talk to me so I may give you some hints. I will assist you to the best of my ability. Good day. I believe you call it Theurgy? Now that you've become even stronger, you should be able to battle more efficiently and exquisitely with your multiple personas. Very well. How may I assist you? Damn, I don't got none of my big boys. I mean, I'm not really upset about that, honestly. That's not, you know, I'm not upset about that. It's just a little like, dang, I wasn't expecting that. I thought I'd at least have the option, you know? Let's go. What? That dark figure from before it went in here, right? You don't think that was... I'm so sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. This appears to be the first door. I wonder what we'll find inside. We don't go through it, but we can't do anything about the current situation. I suppose we have no choice but to enter. Are you ready? I'll do my best to support you. Let's go. I was going to end the episode before jumping in, but I was like, man, y'all got to see some action. And I want to hear this new song. That's my main thing. I want to hear this new song. It feels like an ordinary building inside. I'm going to take a quick look. These readings. Oh, no. Shadows, be careful, everyone. I'm sensing multiple shadows inside. Everyone, assume your battle positions. Oh, shit. There's a shadow directly ahead of you, though it doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. I guess since you're equipped with firearms, I bet you can shoot them from afar. There's enough distance between you and the shadow, then I don't think they'll notice you. How about giving it a try? Let's go. Come on. Let's go, nigga. Can I? They were teaching me how to fucking target. Here we go. Shoot his ass. Now's our chance. Hold on. Hold on. What is optimal? Good work. I can do this. We get an actual shuffle time. Let's go. Let me get over now. Is that a new pose? We're in Malabolge. Shut your ass down. Shut your oh, shit. What did she just do? That was hard. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Enemies looking like kids and I'm just grown up. A new gen of wicked game of wicked beast ace. I'm a missing nice guy. Not a mafioso, but a hustle like mine. You feeling me? I think these beats freaks go crazy with me. Shaking a man, L to the J's, now follow me. Got 
You still alive? No. Madis, fuck this nigga up. Hit his ass. <laughs> I wanted to hear the second verse, but I'm not gonna force it. We'll hear the second verse when it's time. To, when it's time. Okay, so that's yeah. We gotta go down. All right, I'm remembering. Okay, but that's cool. She has like a little, a little area of effect attack. What if she hits multiple with it at the same time? It's still lagging a bit. I hope it stops that soon. Um. Sounds like fear. This place is just like Tartarus, and that thing we saw earlier. I have a bad feeling about this. Please proceed with caution. Let's stick together, sister. Filthy monster. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Baby, 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 baby. By the way, I guess I wanted to mention something. I'm sure you already know this, but please keep an eye on everyone's health. If their health gets low, make sure they recover. As long as we work together, I know we'll be fine. I'm counting on you, leader. Best to stay on your toes here. I'm always... I, I literally don't have heels. I'm always on my toes. I have no choice but to stay on my toes. Mm -hmm. What are you mad about? Hey, I know we're not exactly best friends. But do you really have to glare? Like it or not, we gotta work together to get out of this. You, me, I guess, everyone. I'm not glaring. Hmm. What? You're right. I was glaring. <laughs> okay. Thanks for being honest, I guess. Sit your ass down. People was complaining about the about the new OSTs? People was complaining about the OSTs? What are they complaining about? This is gas. It's weak to ice. Okay, let's see yours. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Let's go. All right, let's see what you got. Okay. Give me high pixie. Okay, that's cool. That's nice. That's smooth. Doing better than ever. Nice. You know, I love a good, I love a good familial bond, man. You know, gotta love that shit. I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Where's the right way? Not over here. Is it over here? I know there's a way to expand the map. I don't remember, and I don't feel like figuring it out. I'm the grown up. Sit your ass down. Get this icy cold dick, nigga. Gonna snuff this soul and bust it in your mouth. Forget it. Ugh, I don't want that ugly ass. Give me this shit. Oh, bro, the new what you call it? The new lines are so hard. That certainly went well. The new lines are hard, bro. Oh my goodness. Pass that shit to Yukari. Pass that shit to Yukari. Pass that bitch to Yukari. Hold on, I passed that bitch to Yukari, so Yukari gotta fuck her up. Hold on. What am I talking about? Pass that bitch to Akihiko. He gonna knock that shit out. Hold on. Sit your pussy ass down, fucker. Oh, this sounds beautiful. I can't wait to hear this when I, I can't wait to listen to this whole song when I stop recording. Mm, mm, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing this shit and I'm doing that shit. Finna go in, gonna fuck this bitch. Finna do all of this and all of that. 
and I'm finna go and kill these fucking bats. These shadowy bats, and I'm finna go and hit them with a bat. And I'm finna go and get a gat, gat in my finger. Finna go and finger your ass. Shoot that bitch, shoot that bitch. And I'm... Stop! I'm not saying shit. Doesn't look like we'll be needing a tank cap. Doesn't look like we'll be needing a 10 count. <laughs> that certainly went well. That certainly went well. I fucking love this guy. Wait, this reading. You're getting closer to a strong presence. Please be careful. Let's get going. Man. Fuck that strong presence. Fifty monster. Shit, no ass down. Oh, these damn lions. They don't even remember what they're weak to, bro. That's crazy. They're weak to ice, I think. That's what they were weak to, ice. Yo, we might, we get, we get fucked up. Hold on, they fucking us up. Fatal end his ass. We might need to go home. Guys. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. Went off without a hitch. I'm gonna be honest. We, we might need to go home. We might need to go back. Okay. My persona feels a little different now. Maybe it's just because it's been a while. Can I go back up? I cannot go back up. Damn, okay. Ah, uh, we gotta proceed like this. We're probably gonna get fucked up eventually. Let's hope I don't die. Y'all, y'all gonna give me a um a teleporter, right? <laughs> I mean, I know I didn't take the teleporter. But... Come on, let's keep moving. I know I should have took the last teleporter, but like, y'all gonna give me a teleporter, right? Chest. Fuck. We finna skip all this shit. And find our way to a two-way teleporter, bro. Cause I am not confident that we'll survive. Shadow up ahead. Fuck. Taking it out. Fuck no. Oh you bitch. No! There's a shadow. No! That's a one-way teleporter. But there's no need to head back yet. Yes, there is! Fuck! It's not a two-way! Come on, please tell me. Let's go! That might have been our only chance to get out of here with some progress. Oh shit. Nigga just running. They just sent something unusual run by up ahead. I wonder what it was. It seems to have gone down to a lower floor. I'm about sick of this nigga, bro. Makoto! Fuck you doing here? You supposed to be dead, nigga? The fuck you doing here? Returning to the furthest explored floor. One way teleporters are found throughout the abyss of time. It can be used to instantly return to the desert of doors. Even after returning to the desert of doors, you can speak to Fuka by the entrance to return to your furthest explored floor. Good idea if you find yourself stuck. Oh, okay. So I, I can do that anyways. All right. I've been thinking about that thing we saw. It's not a shadow, is it? Now that we finally have a lead, let's find out where it takes us. Fuck no. Um, We're going home, nigga. <laughs> We're going home. If we go any further, we gonna get fucked up. Maybe even left. We might get fucked right. I'm gonna end the episode off here. This was really just supposed to be like a little, you know, show y'all what we getting into and then get into the shit, you feel me? That's all this really was supposed to be, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time, we gonna clear that whole bitch out, you feel me? But I just wanted to get some fighting in. Uh, if y'all enjoy, like, subscribe, leave a comment, read them all, tap into the next one. Please watch my um, P3 series, man. Like my P3 Reload series. Just hard. It's, um, I think it's a fan favorite. That in my Persona 4, Persona 3, and Fate, those seem to be the favorites. Like, <laughs> those are the three, those, those are like the three favorites, even though my favorite is Course Party. But hey, what I like don't matter, apparently. But that seemed to be the favorites, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Peace out. I love y'all. Tap in.